It's my joy to come to you again today and to thank God for your life. We are always grateful to God for the gift of life. He gives us a new day, a new month, and a new year. What a gracious God we have. I would like to draw your attention to something. I believe almost everyone wants to know what the future is like. And that is why some go to the extent of calling on medium and all kinds of fetishes within their stars and palms to find out about the future. But God is the only one who knows the future. This particular month is a month full of opportunities. And for us in this country and as a church, we have been called upon to go back to the house of God and worship. And even some are scared because they don't know what the future holds. After many months of lockdown and shutdown and not being able to go to church, we hear all kinds of things about what COVID can still do when we gather. Do we know what the answer is? I don't, do you? But for sure, God knows. How do we tackle this? In God's word, in Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3, God tells Jeremiah, and for that matter you and I, he says, call on me in prayer and I will answer you and I will show you great and mysterious things which you still know nothing about. That is God talking to Jeremiah. May this month be a month that you will dedicate to listening to God, calling on him in prayer, casting all your cares on him and asking him to show you what lies ahead. He would answer you. He would open doors for you. Because he truly loves you. And his plans are for your good and your welfare. So embrace this new month as full of opportunity, full of joy, full of knowing him. Therefore, the Lord will bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he open doors for you, for your greatness in living for him and doing his work, both now and forevermore. Amen.